This channel is sponsored by Creality. Go to Creality.com. I thought I'd do um, a basic skinning job that I have to do on these uh, roof uh, trim pieces and then also the side scoop trim pieces, which I've all got body worked here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, set this up um, and then I'm basically just gonna run uh, time lapse and you guys can watch the whole process. So let's get started. So obviously what I'm using here is denatured alcohol just to get any grease and grime off of the parts because um, I want a good surface in order to have the next step which is to layer down uh, some epoxy with some pigment in it to make these surfaces black so that the white color does not transmit um, through the uh, carbon fiber that we're going to lay down. So the resins I'm using are basically We've got a medium cure hardener and a thick epoxy resin. I like to use the thick uh, resin so that when I actually vacuum bag these parts, so when I vacuum bag these parts, basically you're going to be able to push the uh, carbon fiber a little bit into the resin. Now you're going to want to mix this thoroughly without introducing a bunch of air bubbles. And I just put a little bit of pigment in there to make it nice and black. You want to get all the corners and scrape the sides. Some people even transfer this to a different cup. I don't do that. I'm not that anal. Maybe that's my problem. Basically, we don't remove any material, so that's where we want it to be. I've cut our carbon fiber sheets so that they can go over this. So I'm going to try to lay this in the center.
So this is actually just a storage bag that I got um, from Amazon. So since we don't necessarily need a high vacuum, uh, we're going to give this a go. So we'll see how it works. Hey guys, well, it's been overnight. Um, this did not hold perfect vacuum. Um, so you may have to maintain these. Um, maybe there's some reason for that, I don't know. But it looks like that the parts are nicely um, ready for uh, debagging. And then we'll go ahead and put on a layer and wet the carbon fiber cloth and uh, Rinse and repeat a few times, and then uh, hopefully we can sand and polish the result. So let's get started. sanding it, you'll actually find that you have a little bit more um, forgiveness that sanding through to the carbon fiber. So if you do sand through the carbon fiber, you're not going to sand all the way through to the base layer and then have to basically redo the whole thing. So that's one of the advantages for using a heavier carbon fiber. But anyway, let's get these cleaned up. It's a little windy, but I'm going to be shooting these uh, uh, out of a 2K spray can. so. We'll see how it goes.
Well, that sucked. <laughs> anyway, um, got a couple of scratches, so I sanded them again. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and clean them again. I moved into my garage where it's a little uh, less windy. Um, less likely for me for the stuff to blow off again. Uh, it feels so professional. Well, I finally got a nice uh, part of the day to be able to shoot these. And uh, so, yeah, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about the process. Um, and tell me what you think about the videography. So, because uh, I'll probably be doing more of this. Because I do have to do more skinning and whatnot, so... Um, but let me know what you think. Anyway, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already done that, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.